far as history is, I thought it. My buddy said they had like a ball. Man, I didn't know. Crying inside still. Oh, yeah, man. I could have sure up. Damn it. Oh, wow, that looks nice. Are you? All right, good morning. We are live at Donut Derelix. Starting in the middle over here. It's sprinkling a little bit this morning, so maybe it kept a couple people away. But we're going to keep moving on and check some cool cars out. Blake is over here with us. We're going to cruise around. And uh, we got Ventura Nationals this morning, so I know uh, a lot of people will go to that also. But we're going to keep cruising. There's a really cool uh, square body C10 you want to check out over here. And maybe uh, we'll get some words of wisdom from this gentleman here. We'll see. These have always been here. Huh. This might be new. We got what Paige would refer to as the drinking stepdad vehicle. Yeah, so cool. Good morning. Good morning, bro. How you doing? Good. How are you Good. When I saw you guys pull in, I was thoroughly confused. Confused? Yeah. This thing sounded amazing. So what's going on with this guy? What year is it? 1973. C10. Touring. <laughs> is it, what's uh? it's pretty crazy. It looks like a trophy truck kind of inside. It's a trophy truck dash. Yeah? That's where the, like, yeah, the model's from. Yeah? And it's uh, running an LS, kind of like a cage, kind of LS situation under the... Uh, yeah, LS3. The firewall's all smoothed out. Looks like you guys got a lot of time in this thing. Just a little bit of love. A little bit of love? Was there a, a specific purpose for building it this way, or was this a customer car, or is this your guys' car? My car. Yeah? Yeah, just to go have fun on the track, you know? Yeah? Pretty much set up for track, circle track. Oh, okay. Do you use it for like an autocross course or something for that track? Could, I haven't yet, but we'll see. Yeah? Love the dash. Cool door panels, too. Look how the exhaust is run kind of up and in the middle. Yeah, I was just going to say, I'm starting to get... Cool color, too. It's like a graphite kind of cool color. No, I haven't yet. It just got done. What do you have between the exhaust? Is that a trans cooler? Yeah, trans cooler. Wow. So a lot of hours put into this, that's for sure. Really nice. Let's see what we got going on for tires. The dash on. Well, that, that's why that's why you picked it up. It's like yeah. you don't have the best of the You know what I mean? And it was funny. I thought they made it. It came with it. Which is part of it. Yeah. 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 Morning. What are you 
What's your uh, Monte Carlo? 73. It's a 73 Lando with the suitable bucket seats. Nice. What year do they start making the Monte Carlo? Do you know? 1970. Oh, did they? Okay. Started with the first generation that was based on a lot of the uh, Cadillac and Grand Prix platforms. And then they went to this body style. A lot of the Buicks and uh, Oldsmobiles did this style. And then from there, from 77, uh, was the longest year, and then from '78, that's when they kind of started making the G bodies. Oh, okay, yeah, that's when to, to like the Grand Nationalish yeah, kind of style Grand one. National stuff uh, like the Training Day movie. Yeah. The Interesting. <laughs> there you go. Transmission cooler, probably. Yeah, that's what he was saying. It's a trans cooler. Yeah. Trans cooler. No, it's naturally aspirated. What's that cooler for? Blake definitely needs a trans cooler for his upcoming surgery. Yep. <laughs> Right, right? I'm gonna build you a fucking truck that I fucking twice as sick as fucking heads. It's gonna cost half as much money. Things that you wanna take over on the rest of this. Absolutely. Good morning from Colorado. It's David it's from London. Like I said, a little bit of retaliation. Yeah. My best friend's dad. Good cool looking truck. 58, 59. <laughs> you guys tell me. 58, there you go. <laughs> I like this Corvair van. This one's pretty cool. What about the Corvair? Did you change your mind on the Corvair van? What's in... What do you have that's two? I have the six. Oh, six. Yeah, I remember when I brought it, you were like, oh, yeah, I know you guys. Got the Corvair van. <laughs> kind of something different. No, especially for the like I don't think you want me to paint. I won't do it either. I don't clean up either. I just throw the pressure. Ooh, got the lightning over here. Which are really designed for like late but then It was almost like before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the other ones were fire. Way better. Way better. Uh, six seven. SHTSV. What's up? How you doing? Good morning. We got the 56 over here. Big fan of this 56. One of my favorites. Love the color, love the patina. Love the interior too. Love it. Love the wheels he put on it too. Love the b bumpers. I love how we just kind of buffed it out too. Good looking car. Really nice looking car. Like the Impala <laughs> steering wheel too. Let us know in the comments where you guys are watching from. <laughs> Good morning. All right, what do we got over here? Ooh, we got that yellow Chevy Love over here. Let's go over and check that out. 
we don't always make it all the way over here. So let's go up here and make sure we do. Got the yellow Chevy Love, I believe. This is me in 1983. <laughs> okay. That's the truck I built. Wow. But so you've had this for... No, no, he has it. I haven't had it since like 86. Oh, wow. Did yeah. you... I found, I saw him in Huntington Beach once, and so we'll park next to each other. He'll tell me when he's coming out, and I'll go see it, but yeah. That's really funny. Yeah, yeah, so kind of cool to see that. So uh, has it been changed since you originally yeah, built yeah, yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, he put the roll cage in it. I narrowed the rear end. Uh -huh. And did the, like cut the the bed down and had it painted because in '83 this was kind of cool color. Yeah, <laughs> Maybe not so much now. Yeah, um, but it's he starting put, to come back. Yeah, so he put the roll cage <laughs> in it and redid it. You know, redid stuff, and I'm sure he, he put a bigger motor in it. I had a V8. I put three two barrels on it. That was kind of the. Um, yeah, what's it in now? It's it's got a big, a big one big carburetor on this. I don't know what exactly the motor has got, but he runs it up at Irwindale a lot. Wow, that's really cool. <laughs> so yeah, to, I probably spent three years building it, and after when it was finally done, I was over it. You know. And what what year is it? I think '83 is when I got it finished. Okay, what year is the truck? Oh, it's a '70 '74. Oh, but okay. I had put like '79 headlights in it or whatever, so uh -huh. just to make it different, you know. And what year did you buy it? I bought it in like 80, 81, and then I spent like three years, I put the V8 in it, mm -hmm. and then took the bed off, narrowed the frame, welded it all back together, and it took me like three years to get it built and painted. Wow. And then by the time it was done, I was pretty much... <laughs> and then you sold it around I what sold year? It, I sold it around 86, 87. Uh -huh. I sold it to like a family friend. And then uh, it was sitting out, and like 10 years later, I think he bought it, was sitting out in a field, no motor in it, no nothing, and <laughs> he rebuilt the whole thing. So, wow. pretty interesting deal. And then I was driving down PCH and saw it at Bolsa Chica Beach. That's really funny. So I hung a U turn, went in and talked to him. So, yeah, it was cool. And you told him the whole story, huh? Yeah. That's crazy. That's so, really cool. And it's the gentleman sitting down over there? There's a guy standing with, oh, with the black hat on. In the black hat? That's really funny. <laughs> That's crazy. What's your name, by the way? Scott. Scott, I'm Steven. Yeah, I've got the gold Chevy truck over there. Oh, okay. The one right here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's really funny. <laughs> That's funny when you see something that you've already owned, right? Yeah, and you wonder whatever happened. In the yeah. That's funny that it stayed local enough for you to see it. Yeah. <laughs> Now, did you put the motor, a different motor in it, yeah. or did it already uh, have the motor well, in I it? When I got it in 2010, I actually won it uh, on eBay for like 650 bucks. <laughs> okay. It was basically just a roller. Um, there was no windshield, no rear window. No, there was rear window, no windshield. Oh, it was sitting in there. Interior was gutted. There was no wiring. So uh, I had to uh, rewire it. Uh, put the interior in it, make a dash, make door panels, get a grill. I mean, the thing was basically just a shell. The rear end was already done. These rims were on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, kind of took me about two years to get it roadworthy. Wow. And I put a stock, I bought a, a truck for like 500 bucks. It was rotted, the body, but the, the motor and trans was good. So I put it in here just to wire it. And then uh, probably about five years later, probably like 2015. Then we put a, a motor that's in it now in trans. It's got what motor's in it? It's a Vortex. It's like I think a 96 Vortex. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's high performance Chevrolet block, or motor. It's got a turbo 400 and then the Chrysler rear end in it. Okay. The Chrysler was in it when Scott built it, but uh, it was leaking axles. And then I tried to pull the axles out to reseal them, the side seals, and the axles actually twisted. So oh, okay. I had to take the pull rear end down to uh I can't remember his name anyway he's had new axles put a 373 gear and it had a 355 uh sure track but we ended up putting a 373 in it positive traction so 
And were you, so you were on eBay looking for a love truck or just well, looking for fun projects to work on? I kind of late night and I look at something and I go, well. <laughs> just an impulse $650 yeah. well, purchase no, on eBay or I what? Looked, I looked at it and I go, well, it'll probably bring 1500 Okay. So I go in there and I go, okay, my max bid's a grand. Okay. So I, I quit doing that. But uh, a lot of times I'll do that. And your wife says, what the hell did we just well, buy? <laughs> the next morning, you know, I yeah. go, well, I want a love truck. And we got to go get it. And it was out in uh, Paris. Okay. So I go, I can't back out of it. You know, I want it, so we got to go. And I was looking for something for me and my dog. I got three daughters. Uh -huh. They've raced junior dragsters since they were eight. And uh, looking for something. Like a fun the, fun project. Yeah. yeah. If, so, for they can race at the track, which my middle daughter, Rachel, races this at the track. Oh, okay. And then I drive it on the street, like to Donut Derelicts. I only live like three miles, but just Donut Derelicts. And uh, so anyways, uh, I won it. We went and got it. And like I said, it was just, I wanted something where all the hard work was done, the rear end done. Right. And what they did is when I got it, it I bought it from a guy that sat outside for like 10 years. And they stripped the interior, they put the roll cage in it, mm -hmm. but there was nothing. And I got these stickers on here just to cover up, because when they welded, they, they burnt the paint. <laughs> so I work for NHRA, these are all the races I traveled with. Oh, okay. And uh, so I started putting the whole interior back in it. Like I say, we just, you know. And what, and what I think, uh, is it Scott? Yeah. Scott had said, what, is it a 74? 74. 74, See, okay. that was hard when I bought it. I didn't know that much about love trucks. When I was in high school, I had a Datsun. Mm -hmm. So I'm going by looking at um, the front end on it. I'm like, wow, it's like a 77. Okay, so then I ordered a... Because he changed something on the front, he said, right? Yeah, because yeah. on the 74, it had four headlights. Oh, okay. So I think it's 77 and newer with two single headlights. Oh, okay. So the front, the front's different, and you weren't sure when you were yeah, bidding well, ordered, on it if it. Well, tail light wiring. I ordered for, and it was the wrong tail light from the cab back. There's a harness, <laughs> and it was the wrong one. Okay. So it took oh, me funny. a little while to figure it out. And the bed is off of the same year, like a '77, because on a '74, the tail lights are at the bottom of the tailgate. Mm-hmm. '77 and newer, they're on the side. Okay, got so, it. But the title on it said 74. But I didn't know what to order, <laughs> you know, because of what the body was. Right. <laughs> but the VIN number, the cab, the fenders, everything's all original, 74. It's just a front grill. And I went, I bought the four headlights to put it back in it, but everything's welded in and I couldn't put them back. So I right. just left it. That's and funny. And if you chop the top down the bed here, it needs to be here all the way across. And he oh, he, it. he chopped it yeah, down. Yeah, it down. Oh, wow. All the way around. That's pretty Which cool. Which kind of makes the cab look a little taller. Yeah, it does. I love the, like, the, the, the uh, like, 80s, yeah. you know, style paint right job on. and stuff. Yeah, Which is, you know, now popular again, right? Yeah, it came back. <laughs> and a lot of, a lot of people, you I'll get back like again. Little, no, 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 you don't, you, you don't have to move it. That. No, you can't. I mean, it's, it's cool again now, if right? I, if I painted it, it would be the He's same right paint there. job. No, yeah, of course. Yeah. It for sure would. There's a good side and a bad side, but it, it survived. Yeah, I can survive. Every like once in a while, I'll buff it out and it'll come back really shiny. So the rattle from the, you know, the chips and stuff. His bearings and all It looks, I mean, people are... People want it to look like this now. I mean, this is this is it. Yeah. It's originally cool. Yeah, I think that's what he was saying. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Super cool. <laughs> And I, I didn't, uh, I didn't get your name. I'm sorry. I'm Don. Don. I've, I'm uh, Steven. Owned it since 2010. So. Oh, okay. Super Don't cool. Don't plan on getting rid of it. Like I was just telling Scott's friend, if I do, Scotty would be the first one to buy it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've seen it a couple times here, and every time it's, it's really cool because you don't see uh, too many love trucks, you know, in general. Um, I'm in uh, on Facebook on uh, SoCal Love Trucks. I okay. Put a post in there. Hey, anybody want to meet me at? Yeah. You know, donuts. And I don't... <laughs> one thing, there's not a whole lot of love trucks around. No, there's not. California. There's only a but few. Yeah. I had one guy, a good friend, Brett. Uh, I think he lives up like Whittier. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's got, I think, a 410 or 455 gear. And it's kind of hard for him to drive. That's that's tough to get on the freeway with that. 
thinking about coming. I thought, don't worry about it. I haven't heard about anybody else. <laughs> Very cool. Awesome. I love it. It's always cool to see, you know, other people that have owned it too. Yeah, I have a 71 uh, Vega panel. Uh, with a small block shift. You know, oh, is it white? Yellow. yellow. Oh, okay. Everybody's all, you like yellow. I'm like, well, no, when you buy a used car. <laughs> Kinda. You're not sure what you're gonna get, right? <laughs> yeah, we were anyway. actually. I was telling Bobby, Bobby G here. Uh, we were going down PCH. Me and my buddies were all cruising, and then so we pulled over. It's like down by uh, uh, another end of PCH mm -hmm. like Beach. So we all pulled off, sitting there talking, and this guy comes by in a red truck. Goes, "Hey, I built that truck," and that was Scott. Yeah, so, <laughs> that's really funny. Yeah, we've been kind of good friends ever since. Hooked up on Facebook and stuff. So, that's crazy. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. That's awesome. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys later. Nice to meet you. Keep cruising. I don't know if she's gonna Really yeah, nice so bus. It's morning. Beautiful bus. The book in Z28. Yeah, it's a little trash. Oh, right there. Now we're at the mic. Where is everybody, Steve? They're all sleeping. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's sprinkling. Great, great holiday weekend. I bombed your car. <laughs> oh. I put a present for you in your car. Did you notice? <laughs> Four cassettes. <laughs> yeah. Just in case. Just in case, even though yep. the player don't work. Yeah, you don't have a working Reads player, but just right in on. case. Oh, yeah, I do. To in, add, in a different car. Oh, okay. <laughs> to add to the effect of your vehicle. There you go. I noticed you, only, you still only had the one I noticed, so you got to round out your collection. I saw in last week's video, you <laughs> walked by the car and you said, oh, look, kiss <laughs> <laughs> So now you have, now you have three. I noticed that only, only three will fit in there, so now you have... Van Halen, uh, CCR, and Kiss. So you have a, a good, you have a well-rounded collection now. <laughs> What's going on? How are you? Yeah. It's the sprinkling. What's going on? I know. Long time no see. Yeah. What's going on, guys? Good. Kids ready for school? Or is it They're back already. Oh, they are. Yeah. Oh, they They've been back for a few weeks. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird that they started like. I don't know. School there is weird. It started like a few weeks ago. Wow. I don't know. It's confusing. Well, doesn't start until Tuesday. Next, yeah, until after Labor Day, right? Yeah, and yeah. That's how we used to do it. Yeah, I know. It's confusing. I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ray's got the the ride out. You brave the. How many Hot Wheels do you have at home? Uh, probably one thousand. One thousand. You brave the sprinkles? I guess so, yeah. Yeah, it's a little quiet today. I can't What's going on? Do you care? No, it's Are you guys, are you driving all the way to you, uh, Ventura and doing the deal today? No. Yeah, I didn't have any interest in <laughs> You know. <laughs> hey there. You know the bummer is, Steven? What's up? You used to be, you'd get up on a Saturday morning and say, hey, I want to go to Santa Barbara. Or Ventura or San Diego. And you can't do any of those things anymore because it takes eight hours to get anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> because you're in the Batan Death March. Yeah. You're just waiting for the wherever and bottlenecks you draw the freeway. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's why you're like, I'm just going to stay home. You have to love where you <laughs> now, you have to love where you live. <laughs> that's true. Or you could just put eyelashes on your car. I like your eyelashes. You should say, Dad, you should put eyelashes on our car. Right? Dad, you should put eyelashes on our car. I agree. You know that? Data Point was a good show. You went down there last I did. It was a good show. I love that. Sorry. I love that. That's a good little show. It is a good show. Isn't, um... The other show is... Isn't Belmont Shores next weekend? Or the weekend after? We're, like, in, like... 
now we're in the every weekend there's a coastal beach show. There's a Belmont <laughs> Shore, there's El Segundo, there's Manhattan Beach. Yes. Every every coastal downtown now from now until seems like October is going to be. Something. Yeah, Dana, the Dana Point one is is good. It's nice because I could go there. It's like two seconds from my house. Oh, that's right. You're yeah, close. but it was beautiful. It's, nice. it's a good show. But it was sunny. It was nice. It yeah. Was, it was pretty hot. Well, you know what? It's nice because the community comes out. The downside is when you have a really nice car, the community comes out. Yeah. Belt buckles and purses. Yes. Belt buckles and purses. <laughs> Ooh, we got the steam ride. Good on you on braving the weather, Stephen. Yeah, I'll try. We'll we'll rebuild, right? <laughs> Let's see if I drink. Ooh, we got the steam ride. <laughs> See? That's gonna be your next car you're gonna build right there. <laughs> What's up, Mario? Mega. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, Zephyr. Is this yours? Yes, sir. What? It's for sale. Is it? Yeah. You do a little video, put it for sale when you're. Uh, this is a. Yeah, that's a good, uh, this is a different uh, color than I've seen. Huh. So, take me through. This is a 41. I like the color. Yeah. This is a different color than I've normally seen for these. Usually it's black. Somebody had a, last weekend they had like that brick color. I can't say I've seen this color before. Because they didn't make these in very many colors, did they? How did this come about? This doesn't seem like a car that you would purchase. For sale. <laughs> I heard you say it's for sale, but this doesn't seem like a a car that that Mario would get into. I like them. I like them all. I know you like them all, yeah. but this doesn't seem like a. I don't, I don't know. This seems like an uncommon car for you to get. Original car. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, how much is a? Clean 41. Lincoln Zephyr V12. Fully See? restored. Yeah. How much is one of these things running? Uh, I'm trying to get like 55 for it. That seems pretty good. Yeah. It's a really nice car. It's got the flathead in it. So they only made these. What was the first year they made these? I don't know. I. I, I asking him that question. Ray? Yeah, he knows a lot about the, it. The Zephyr, Zephyr, the Zephyr, Zephyr professional? I, I think 37. Okay. He, he, uh, Ray's he, like the, the Zephyr the, God. The Zephyr Whisperer. Yeah. <laughs> He's the Elvis Presley. Isn't yeah, he? he is. Can I open it and look inside? Yeah, go ahead. Wow, I... I love the, the contrast of the, the gold and the green. Yeah. What is this? That's, that's how you open the door. You push it. Really? Yeah. Wow. Look in the back. It, it even has like little steps for your feet. 
Oh wow. That's crazy. 